body was literally just dumped in some overgrown grassy area. There was nothing around it. There was no shell casings. There was no other evidence in that immediate area. There just wasn't anything there. We actually interviewed Lavelle. Lavelle was supposedly uh, the victim's friend. Yeah, we straight, we tight. And he gave us information about him, but it, it just didn't pan out. There was nothing we could follow. That's all I know. We just felt he was there, and we were really hoping that uh, Lavelle's inner circle might give him up. The prosecution's argument was, again, they charged our client with first-degree murder, as the evidence showed through each single witness that they brought on, um, that they couldn't make that burden. Witnesses seem like they'll be okay, but when the rubber meets the road and they're sitting in front of a defendant who's gonna look them in the eye, it doesn't always translate into being confident in the courtroom. We're going to talk about what happened in March of 2006, OK? When you went in the living room, you saw Lavelle with the gun. What type of gun did you see him with? It was a long gun. It was a long gun? OK, would it be too long to put in your pocket? Yes, ma'am. Would it be long, Is it like a rifle? Do you recall what color the gun was? Brian. When you went in the living room and you saw Lavelle with the long brown gun, did you hear him say anything? When I went in there and saw him with the gun, I just went back in the room and got in the bed, shit, though, went to sleep. Where was it? On the hip. And he had that on his hip when he told you not to say anything about it? Thank you. Those are all the questions I have for you. You were in, uh, in bed sleeping that night, weren't you? Yes, sir. And you awoke when you heard a gunshot? Yes, sir. And then you came in the living room, or came in the room and saw Lavelle Mangrum holding the gun? Yes, sir. And then you went back to bed? Yes, sir. So you don't know what happened before you woke up? And you don't know what happened afterwards? I went back to sleep I thought that was a dream. No further questions, Your Honor. With the minor, he didn't see anything. We felt that we uh, provided more than enough grounds for reasonable doubt.